10 years ago, Ryan Serhant's annual income was less than $10,000. Last year, he accounted for $1.4 billion in real estate sales, in large part due to YouTube. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how he built his multi-billion dollar real estate empire and how you can copy what he did for your business or personal brand. Let's dive in. Before Ryan Serhant was on YouTube, he was a hand model. Yes, hands off. Let's see his one of his first videos. Uh, I mean, I'm like anybody else. You know, I sleep with gloves on. They say, what'd you do today? I was like, well, I was hand modeling and they're like, oh, like George Costanza. And in 2008, at the peak of the Great Recession, certain land had a real estate gig with the brokerage firm Nest Seekers. In his first year, how much do you think he made? $9,000. But he kept at it. And in 2012, his big break finally came when he was selected as one of the stars of Bravo's million dollar listing New York. But Noah, he's famous and had all these connections. Not true. After grinding in real estate for over 10 years, things finally started to take off for him when he launched his YouTube channel in January of 2018. All of a sudden, now we're getting calls from Saudi Arabia, from China, from Hong Kong, from Russia, seeing our properties on YouTube, wanting to actually see them in person and buy them because they didn't even know these properties were on the market in the first place. What age is this guy? You can't tell if he's 15 or 50. It's very impressive. Ryan posted his first vlog on January 24th, 2018. His first video was just him saying, what up dog? I wanted to start a vlog because everyone knows me from shows that are incredibly produced, right? I mean, Million Dollar Listing New York is, is real. It follows my life. This way, I can give real live content, show people what my days are really like in rapid speed. Since then, he's uploaded every single week since and now has over 1 million subscribers. So how did Senior Sirhan get all these amigos, AKA subscribers, and how did he use YouTube to drive this money to his business? The Ryan Serhant model of success. So Ryan's aha moment came early in his career after realizing his real estate success was directly tied to his personal brand. And this can apply to any career, not just real estate. So in 2018, Serhant created his own entertainment and media company called the Serhant Media Group, pumping out weekly vlogs that showed behind the scenes footage of his professional and personal life. One year into vlogging, he was seeing some nice traction, but nothing really started to pop off until one of his videos went viral. Let's see it. Trainer, you have everything, the best of the best. There's 24 hour armed guard security here. There's a booth that you can't see. Let's actually check out what Ryan said about this aha moment. That was the moment where I said, wow, more people just watched this video than watched all of cable last night. That's crazy. And it was just one video. Like people spend all this money to create TV shows and all this advertising and all of that. And I just went and filmed the property and 12 million people watched it. So really, really fascinating. I think one of the key things to just highlight here is that he was doing it for a year with not a lot of bangers. And then finally after a year, something started happening. So stick with it, do the law of 100. We'll talk about that more at the end. So how Ryan actually runs his YouTube channel is even more impressive. Let's dive into a few of these things. First off, showing is greater than telling, AKA virtual property tours at scale. People love watching tour mega mansions. And this guy toured everything from a $188 million mansion to a $7 million closet. So personally, I love Architectural Digest YouTube channel. If you guys have not watched it, highly recommend it. It's kind of seeing behind the scenes of all your celebs and their styles and who they are. This is compared to like HGTV, which is like random ass people. What if you can see your celebs houses? So cool is that? So I know you might be thinking, cool story, Noah, but my business isn't flashy as this million dollar listing guy. It does not matter. The point is to experiment with YouTuber content and sharing yourself until you find a format or a series that people are interested in watching. Let's give you two examples. So if you have a barbecue restaurant or a Vietnamese restaurant, maybe you can make videos on how to smoke brisket or how to make a certain type of pho. If you're an accounting business, the most boring thing out there, actually not true. You can actually make videos about how celebrities are saving taxes or how certain celebrities are cheating. That's interesting videos. Number dose, doing collabs with big names. So in one of Ryan's videos, he toured a skyscraper with Casey Neistat. In another one, he toured Logan Paul's LA mansion. So find people either big or small that you can do collaborations with. We started doing them on this channel. You've probably seen other people show up. Three, how to and day in the life videos. So if property tours are carbohydrates, Ryan's how to videos are protein. These videos range from how to get your first million dollar listing to super tactical deep dive on when to invest in real estate. And he pulls back the curtain and shows his daily routine and how he manages his day to day. And there's a lot of gold out there for anyone who wants to learn how does someone at the top of their game operates. Lastly, Ryan does a lot of motivational videos. Who, ah, uh, oh yeah. And I know you guys might think that's rah rah for my taste, but Ryan shares it in a way that I feel is very grounded and very real. So how is this actual YouTube strategy paying off? By leveraging his channel, Ryan is actually able to sell and rent out his properties at scale. And this is genius, really think about this. He goes and films houses that he's gonna try to sell anyways. He gets a bunch of followers and YouTube content, plus those people actually end up buying from him. He's also gotten crazy leads, people buying million dollar places just from watching YouTube, just like you. So think about this, how many real estate agents are out there? Millions? 
billions, no, at least millions. But because he has his own channel, he is actually have, able to offer that as a service when people want to list with him. And in 2020, thank you to YouTube, Ryan finally opened his own brokerage firm. And believe it or not, up to last year, Ryan was still working under the Nest Seekers International. So there's some major insights we can learn from Ryan no matter what business you have. First off, build a brand. Ryan started Million Dollar Listing, then he went on to YouTube. Noah started with OK Dork, now he did it into YouTube. You pick a platform and just commit to it. Do the law of 100, which is at least make 100 pieces of content, and it takes some time, you're gonna give up, but eventually you're gonna hit it and have some success with that. Let's say that you're a lawyer, be like Legal Eagle. Let's say you're a tech nerd, you could be like tech lead on YouTube. There's even marketers. Oh yeah, hello Noah Kagan. So pick the channel, maybe it's gonna be YouTube, and just commit to it. You can build a brand for any business that you're doing out there. Next up from Ryan is consistency. And you've heard it a thousand times, but Ryan even talks about it is be consistent. He has posted every single week for over three years. If you want to learn how to stick to making content, check out my video somewhere around here called The Law of 100. I highly recommend it. People have changed their lives from that. Third, try a bunch of stuff. So Ryan's early videos were mostly just him vlogging day to day. Oh, I'm gonna have some coffee. He didn't actually struck gold until he finally tested one video a year into the whole experience. So with this channel, we've had the same experience. We've done this channel for a one year full time. And a lot of videos were like me shirtless, us walking around. And finally we did a video on business ideas and how people got rich and they started working. So find something that you're excited about and commit to it for at least 100 videos. Collaborations, oy vey, let's come collaborate together in the comments section. Make sure you go do that down below. You don't need big names to go collaborate with. Just find people who are in your space, ideally smarter. I call it fire approach, which is basically start with Kindle. So you start with small things and you build up just like how you start a fire. On our channel, we've had some amazing, gorgeous collab. We've had Ali Abdal, we're gonna have Spencer Corlea and other YouTubers just maybe like yourself in the future. So this works for content creation or frankly, any business. Go partner up with people and cross collaborate. If you like this video, you are going to love this video right up here where I talk about how Mr. Beast made over 700,000 a month selling burgers. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly office hours where I help you with your business questions and giveaways. I gave away my Tesla a few months ago. I love you and I'll see you out there. Amen.